Well, the compound is empty and sealed. There's a lot of journalists and, and onlookers gathered outside the walls, desperately trying to peek in and have a look. Um, U.S. officials have said that they have recovered a lot of material, uh, computers, files, and other, and other such stuff. They will obviously be looking at this very, very closely for any information they could get to arrest other, t uh, arrest other militants. The neighbors are saying that the family essentially kept themselves to themselves. Uh, they say two, two gentlemen were most often seen outside the compound and, and a few kids who would play with the other children in the neighborhood. Uh, they presumed that they were just deeply conservative, religious family, not very friendly, though some of them did, did suggest that they were perhaps smugglers or doing something nefarious by, by virtue of the fact the walls were so thick and so high. It's been a, a complicated few days for the Pakistani establishment. On the one hand, they've had to deal with the fact that Americans have, presumably without their knowledge, flown into the country and, and attacked a house within a, a, a one kilometer of a Pakistani military establishment. On the other hand, now they're facing increasing criticism that somehow they, or elements within the establishment, harbored bin Laden over the last 10 years. It's very striking that he was, he was arrested not in the tribal areas close to Afghanistan, but inside a, a medium-sized Pakistani town. They're also having to deal with anger by some Pakistanis over, over, um, over the fact that the Americans were allowed in.